Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm here to share some fantastic news for parents with kids who have allergy problems. You might be one of them because there are lots of kids with allergies. So allergy problems could include asthma, for example, eczema, hay fever, and also hives. Some kids get hives for no good reason that we can uh, easily tell. If you have children suffering from these things, you might really want to know what they may be allergic to. You may know there are thousands of things um, outside that they could be allergic to, so that includes pollens and different grasses, for example. A lot of kids can also have indoor allergies, so they could be having allergies to dust mites or your pet dog or cat, for example. They could also be having allergies to common foods they may be eating. So lots of kids can suffer for a long time with their allergy problems because they're coming in contact with their allergies all the time, and there's no way to know what might be making them worse. Now, lots of parents ask me about allergy testing, and I'll tell you, they don't want a lot of needles stuck in the back to do the allergy testing that most people are familiar with. And I can tell you for a fact, I haven't met a single child who is excited about that idea either. So, what I'm going to share with you is a new procedure I'll be doing in the office, which is a needle-less allergy testing method. And here's how that works. I'll be using a plastic device. I'm going to bring this close to the camera so you can get a good look at it. This plastic device does not have any needles, you see? But it does have prongs that are on the bottom of each one of these uh, uh, little uh, rods here. So we dip this into the allergy solution that we're going to be testing, and then we press this onto the skin and move it around to press it onto the skin, all parts of the skin. And after that's done, we remove it and let your child just be there for about 15 minutes. This gives the body time to react to the different allergens that may be on the skin. If your child has allergies to certain things, that part of the skin may turn red and be a little swollen or have a little hive on it. Depending on how much reaction there is, tells us how strong your child is reacting to that particular item. Now, what's really neat is that at one office visit, I'm able to test for 72 different things. That covers a lot of our outdoor allergies and indoor allergies and also common food allergies. Okay, so even though I showed this to you on top of my palm, the testing is actually done on the back. So we have a child lay down on their stomach and the testing is done on the back. The testing that I do in the office is specific for the Midwest area of the United States because that's in Kenosha, Wisconsin, which we all love because of all the cold weather we get over there. So in any case, the testing is specific for our area, so it will be very helpful for you and your child as it could tell us what things you have to avoid for your child. Also, it could help guide us for certain seasons that we know your child may have more problems and try to be proactive for those, those seasons. Also, there's ways of doing allergy treatments to prevent the allergies uh, to begin with, and there are needle-less treatment options available. So all allergy treatment isn't just allergy shots that you might be familiar with. Uh, what I'll be making available is needle-less allergy treatment, and that's done with using um, special allergy drops that the child puts under the tongue. That's called sublingual therapy. Again, no needles, good news for parents, excellent news for kids, and even better, it may help prevent your child's problems, help decrease medications, and most importantly, help improve their quality of life. To help make sure that your child gains the benefits of needle-free allergy testing, I invite you to make an appointment to come and see me at my office for the allergy test. You can simply look toward the bottom of this page. I'll put a link there so that you can directly make an appointment right online for our next allergy testing day. If I haven't seen your child recently, I will have my office staff contact you so that I can set up an appointment to see your child before that day 
to make sure I know what's going on and to make sure that allergy testing is something that may be helpful for your child. For right now, we're able to do this for patients who have some kind of a commercial insurance that we take. So make sure you either call our office for information or look on our website under the parents link and insurances we accept to check and make sure that we accept your insurance. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this message and I hope that this benefits you and your child. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.